Now, the WWE and Mike from LA1 Networks proudly presents WWE Main Event. Welcome everybody to Main Event on the WWE Network and the Mike from LA1 Network. Tonight, we're going to see champions be decided. We got the... One of the few uh, big titles here tonight, and tonight we got the X Division title on the line, and also the Legends Championship will be decided, and also the Legend, of course, the, of course we got the Gauntlet match for Calvin. That's made for the people that fail to cash in the Million Dollar Championship. The Cruiserweight Championship as a little bit of a sneak preview of what Connor Clark's going through in Oh Yeah, which I will film later tonight. And our main event, it'll be Noah Price versus Titus O'Neil with the Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Championship on the line. So let's go. Everything, mostly everything here has a title on the line. Let's go. As the X Division title is on the line. As Oscar O'Connor puts his X Division on the line against Orlando Tavares, the last person to win the gauntlet. Here we go. X Division Championship. Here we go. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, and we are live tonight from New Orleans, Louisiana. And here comes the X Division Champion, Oscar O'Connor. As he wants to keep his reign as the X Division Champion going here tonight. But of course, he has a big threat here. Yes. Big threat coming up right here tonight. Here comes Orlando Tavares being accompanied by Paul Heyman for the first. We actually get to see Paul Heyman being represented here. Can Oscar O'Connor defeat Orlando Tavares? Or will Orlando Tavares get another championship? Here we go. Just to do the announcements, please. Oscar O'Connor! And here we go. There you see it, Oscar O'Connor. The title's on the line. Oh, 
Hold on to your hats. Here we go. Here tonight. Okay, let me turn this down a little bit. So here we go, Orlando Dwarves. Nice slam there by Oscar O'Connor. Ankle lock. Ankle lock. And now it looks like the losing streak for... Phone call. Backbreaker. It looks like Oscar may be getting the blow. Oscar's getting some momentum here. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. You gotta be kidding me. You're not even first after everybody. Wait a minute. No, no. DDT is over. We may have a new champion. One. No. Oscar O'Connor, you gotta be kidding me. We thought Oscar was done. Oh, kick out there. Nice try. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We may have a new champion. They got it. It's over. It's over. No, wait a minute, here it is, here it is, here he goes, it's, we may have a new champion, we may have a new champion. We may have a new champion. We may have a new champion. One, two, we got us a new X Division champion. And his name is Orlando Tavares. 
Orlando Tavares is the new X Division Champion! X Division Champion, Orlando Tavares! And your heart goes out to Oscar O'Connor, who put up a great fight. But that number one contenders match pretty much determined who was the new champion was going to be. Now it is time to find out, will we have another rematch on Saturday Slam? As Calvin Fuller, the former million dollar champion, is forced to run the gauntlet. It's now or never here, because if Connor blows it, if Calvin blows it, he'll get, he'll become the new Jobber Championship as Greg Holly will be stripped of the championship so they can put the champion, Jobber Championship on Calvin Fuller as punishment. Now let's see what happens here. The former million dollar champion who thought he had his number by choosing Albert Novak, but in the end, he did not get his victory that he thought he was going to get. And his first opponent, unfortunately for him, is Mark Henry. Okay, can somebody tell me how is this fair? This is the same as saying putting him a big show with our Orlando. Orlando made it that far. He almost, but at least the good news is Kane is not in this. So let's see, can Calvin do it? Nice speed is straight there. Calvin is dominating Mark Henry right now. Maybe we may have a maybe we may have a chance of seeing a new champion here. And the fa and the Cal the fans think for Calvin they are bare a little. Over oh wait a minute! Look at that. Uh oh, it's over, it's over. Nope. DDT on Mark Henry. You gotta be kidding me, it's over. One, two, no, wait, one. It looks like the, e although Albert Novak, he's nervous. He's been champion for a long time. But now it's time to find out who will be the next one to, who will be his next number one contender. But Calvin is the next opportunity. No, he reversed it. One, two, nope, two count again.
arm drag. One, two, three. He got him. There goes Mark Henry. And he oh, I got some bad news. You're not getting your easy double. Oh, it's over. It's over. Is it over already? Roll break. So we get at least the match with what bad news Barrett. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a matchup we could be seeing here. And just imagine if bad news if he actually went un if he's unsuccessful at the EZW championship. If he, if Chris if he, if if bad if Wade Barrett somehow beats Christian beats Christian at no way out, we could see a possibility. We could see a possible Calvin F Calvin Fuller could be the next Intercontinental Champion, and that could be big for that young man's career. Right now, but right now he is he's right where Orlando was. The boy Calvin has been dominating these dominating bad news as of late. And whoa, what a rope break again. He got it. It's over. It's over. Nope. But guess what? Did AT again. Albert's in trouble. It looks like Albert Novak's going to the gauntlet. Don't it? No! Another rope break. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. There goes that new. Here we go. Here we go. Could Calvin Fuller be the first one to overcome the authorities' gauntlet challenge? Right here. Because if Bad News wins at no way out, we're going to, at least he may have an intercontinental shot here. So at least the Jopper Championship is out of the running. Because he made it to the champion. Backbreaker. And boy, Simi and Dyson was they he was there was speculating he was going to be cashing in the Zach Van 18 championship on Oscar, but it looks like he now has to think plans through because now it could be a possible spoiler. This could be it right here for this could be it. He got him! He got him! It's over! It's over! No! DDT! Calvin Fuller! That's nothing short of a... No! 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 It's over. What? You gotta be kidding me. Bulldog. Bulldog. What? Two. Oh, that could have been Calvin's new finisher right there. It's over. One, two. No. No. What? What? That's got to be it. And with that, Albert Calvin Fuller has pinned 
everyone. He has run the successfully run the gauntlet. How about that? And now on Saturday Slam, we have an ECW Championship rematch. And boy, did Calvin earn that one. But now coming up next, we may be seeing a new champion right here. As Shawn Michaels puts his Legends Championship on the line against Mick Foley, JBL, Brett the Hitman Hart, Goldberg, and Razor Ramon. This is going to be an all-out war. Here we go! Your Legends Champion, Shawn Michaels! Yeah, Sean actually <laughs> wins this. He's the longest reigning. Alright, thank you. Okay, thank you. And here comes JBL, who could be using his Legends Champion. He could finally win a championship here. Ever since I unlocked him in 30 years of WrestleMania. Wrestling God, what is he, MVP? Here we go. Yeah, Brett the Hitman Hart could be the next champion. Oh, hey yo, I missed up the keys, ball. Good to see the bad guys in the game. Goldberg. Goldberg! Goldberg! Who doesn't want to see this match happen? And yes, I do have a certain match, a few certain matches, in the making for SummerSlam. Goldberg! 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 Goldberg, Goldberg, Goldberg. Of course, tomorrow I am playing my Disney trip for tomorrow. Which, let me tell you, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Because, well, we're going to show off a Disney secret. And we're going to show off more of the Legends of Frontierland. That I meant to show off a long time ago. And here we go. And, oh, poor JBL has to face Goldberg first. JBL got him. As the hitman is gone. Oh, man.
course, I will be filming No Way Out later tonight. And let me tell you, this is where we're going to, this pay-per-view, well, as we slam, we're actually going to set it up, actually. Because I have been thinking a little bit long and hard on who this There goes Sean. And there goes JBL. JBL's been eliminated. Sorry, JBL. Top luck, buddy. So we're now down to three. Razor Ramon, Goldberg, and Mick Foley. They're still in this thing. And there goes Razor Ramon. Wait a minute, Mick Foley, no way, no way, Mick Foley, Mick Foley's the new Legends Champion. Yeah, I saw this one coming. Legends Champion, Mick Great match up there, as Mick, we have crowned a new champion. How about that? But coming up next is a uh, triple threat steel cage match. Woodrow Ambrose and Rex Banner try to dethrone Kofi Kingston. As this is a totally a preview of the no... A preview of the of the no out kickoff that I'm aware of. Here we go. Here comes Kofi for the cruiserweight championship of the world. And here comes Kofi Kingston, ready to go for this match. Here comes Rex Banner. And here we go. And 
this is for the Cruiserweight Championship right here, and it is on the line, and of course we'd have no graphic. Go figure. Here we go. Hold on to your hat. And they're trying to become No, it looked like he got him. And Kofi's getting dominated. It looks like Woodrow. Nope. Boy, the crowd is loving this matchup right now. And look at Rex Banner. He's trying to win this thing. It looks like Rex Banner has ended Kofi's reign. He got him. Rex Banner wins. Rex Banner wins. He is the new Cruiserweight Champion of the World! Rex Banner! And Kofi is declared the loser. So he does get the championship rematch. I don't know how this is going to change hands already. So Rex so we got two tiles change hands tonight. Well, actually three. Can we make it four? Four for four with the dial changes. As Noah Price takes on Titus O'Neil, and unfortunately the no holds barred false count. What? 
Not now. Sorry for the inter constant interruptions. That's the bike for Melly. One World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Right now, Noah Price has will be defending his championship. Is ready to defend it right now. As tonight, this will be a basic normal one-on-one -on -one match. Of course, Slammiversary is coming up very soon, which will be filmed on August 4th, the 5th anniversary of the Mike Rebelli One Network. Here comes Titus O'Neil, the former champion. Mike from LA1, heavyweight champion of the world, Noah Price. And there you see Noah Price getting ready to defend the Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Championship. For the first time in since... Since... Alright, I'll be right back. So here we go. Let's see. Can Noah Price beat Titus O'Neil in one on one? And wait a minute, of course. Wait a minute, what is this? Noah, what are you doing? Noah, no! And that is it for that. Titus wins by disqualification. So I have a feeling this this feud with the prime time pl the prime time players is not over yet. So thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize for that brief interruption interruption. But there you see the quote unquote card. But the best part is the triple threat of two members of the Shield. <laughs> As you can see, three cha new champions were crowned, and he's won the Paul Heyman. <laughs> Look at this. Orlando Tavares has won the Paul Heyman. Oh, that is funny right there. That's going on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for